so guys this is the product that we're going we're going to add button to it's a bag in apron so let's just copy that we copy and let's just see the price no let's just see the price the price is 16.99 we have the price now let's come over to paypal and when you come to paypal you want to come pay and get paid you click on it it's going to pull a table okay okay come to paypal button and here is where we're going to create the button you press on it So you have different type of button you have actually four button you have sell on social media smart button this actually smart button here it's uh, one that allows you to the customer to stay on the website without taking to paypal you know and sell on social media then you have different different type of button but the one that we're going to use today is add to cut because it's pretty much easy I mean, this is what exactly the customer needs if you have an online store. So just wait for it to load. Okay, here is the page we can create button. What is the item name? We already copied that. Let's paste it. It's bad in apron. And we know the price is $16.99. Let's choose it. It's already there because I've created it. But, um, now we come here let's say we have size we want to put size let's say size make sure you put the name always of the option that you want to put let's say this is excel let's say excel um excel let's say excel is 17.99 you can choose different price for it let's say excel and um let's just say um M medium medium is um, $14.99 and I just say mm, small small is uh, what $12 $12.99 uh, guys basically this is just demonstration your size will not literally have a different price but if you have different colors that have different price or different variants that have different prices this is what you can do so I'm going to also show you that the way that you can put different size of variant without no attaching any different price apart from the normal price. So you press done and here you can also add if you want to add different variants or what if you can come here. Let's say this is for example we are not using size anymore. Let's say it's coral. Let's say coral. Um, let's say call and um, let's say this is um, red let's say uh, blue let's say um, brown okay, let's say brown okay so basically these um, are the colors and this does not have any price in it so it can just be like this when you press done so as you can see here it's just a preview of size in different colors now it's different colors and um basically if you want to feel shipping but it's not necessary and here you have some options that if you want to put inventory tracking profit and lose and you can set that up but for me i don't think it's necessary the part that is necessary is where you can it's here here you can check here if you have a URL like when the customer cancel the checkout where it can take them. Um, here you can check here and paste the URL if the customer finished the checkout where it can take them. That means if you have up sale or down sale you can take them here. But in as much as uh, we don't have all that we just create in a basic button so we just press create. Okay, then we copy, we select the code, copy it, and uh, we come to our store here, 
and um, this is where you should repress in to show HTML repress here then you come here you don't want to space you repress the enter key space space a bit space a bit and you come over here when you press you you copy the I mean you paste sorry it's control V you just need to press control V and uh, or you press paste so literally we now have a button look a button it here and we save it then we can then view it in the live store let's press um, U and C look nice so here is my add to cut my size color so it's just this you know it's just this it's a very nice so there is no Shopify payment attached to this this is just your PayPal your customer come to add to cut here it will bring them right directly to PayPal and uh, they'll make the payment they send it through your Gmail PayPal will send you the message through your Gmail by the way and actually it's not your it's not where your merchant so where is it okay I don't have too many so it was not this I will move this I will move this I don't know one of them so it's here Bob in April uh, 1799 we can actually add to of various then we can press check out we press check out it's taking you to PayPal PayPal and once customers see PayPal check out, I think it's really, really cool because they like to be protected and I think it's the best uh, payment system that I've been existing. So, yep. Cool, you see. Um, yeah, the customer can just add the details basically, you know. Customer need to just add his basic details and it's good to go card number expiring date the four digit number last time for same building address and just that and phone number and when they press pay it's actually going to take the customer it's actually going to pay and paper will send the customer a receipt to something and this money is going directly to your PayPal account so guys that's it if you love the video, give it a thumbs up and um, comment. And if you're facing any problem with PayPal or whatever it is, just let me know. I'll be making a video later about how to actually not get banned by PayPal, the step that you need to take. So that's just it.